Hello, today we're answering the question, how long does it take to save $1 million? We're going to do it two different ways, so let's go. Hello, my name is Jeff from Finally Learn, where I help you finally learn financial skills like how to save money and invest it. So this is part of the financial functions in Excel. I'm going to use Excel as my problem solver here. And just a real quick description of everything. We have a future value. So here in this case, we're saying we want the future value to be $1 million. That's the single amount at the end of the problem. We have a present value, how much we have maybe today. It may be zero. We have a payment a stream of equal payments. How much do we need to set aside each month uh, until we reach that $1 million? We have an interest rate, and we have the number of periods. How many months does it take? So I'm assuming a monthly problem. So here's the first way I'm going to calculate it. Let's say that we want to calculate how many months. That's kind of my original question. And so let me get rid of um, uh, how the answer is. So let's say we have zero dollars right now. So my bit beginning investment is zero. We want one million dollars. And we need to assume an interest rate. So I'm just going to pick 8%. And we think our monthly investment, let's just pick $250. And we can change this. Anything that's in this cream colored, we can change. So months, we're going to use the number of periods function. So I'm going to look for uh, the function here, fx. I'm going to look for NPER, number of periods. I want to use the rate. Well, this is monthly, so I need to divide by 12. The payment, I'm going to make that negative, so negative because it's I'm paying it out of my pocket, $250. The present value will also be negative. That's how much we're paying out of our pocket to get started on this problem. Here, this is zero, but we, we might have a beginning investment. The future value, we want it to be a million dollars. And the payments, we're going to assume the payments happen at the end of the period. So we have some... some uh, information here on Excel, but the payments have an end of the period, so that's zero. All right, so we're going to assume here that the payments of $250 means it takes 499.7 months. Well, you may not know how many years that is, so 499 divided by 12, we're talking about 41 and a half years. So if you invest $250 starting with zero and get 8% return, then you're going to have um, 41 years to end up with $1 million. So let's think about this. Our total investment is going to be 499 months times the 250 plus whatever our original investment was. So in this case, it's going to be 124923 And I'm going to take, but we're at a million, so I'm going to take that investment and take the one million minus the investment and that's how much interest that we've earned so the one million minus the 124 so what does this graph tell us so this graph says look we've invested 124 almost 125,000, and the rest is all made up by interest so getting started over a long period of time really makes a difference you might say, look, I don't want to wait 41 years, so let me make it uh, 350. What would happen at 350? Well, you reduce your time down to 37 years. If you say, well, I think 9% is going to be my rate of return, then it reduces it down to 34.7 years, so almost 35 years. So this is a calculator that figures out how many months and how many then years it takes to achieve your one million dollar goal. You could say, look, I just want to get 100,000 and you certainly could do that. And so if you did that and started to set aside 350 per month, let's go back to our original 8%, then everything gets calculated. I'm using a template where I can calculate this anytime I want to. Now the other way that you might want to calculate this might be, you might say, you know, what kind of payment do I need? Um, you can kind of fool around and say, well, I can put in 250 or 350 or $347. But same information. Let's start with zero investment. Our in, uh, beginning investment is zero. Our ending investment is $1 million. Let's use interest rate. And let's, let's pick 360 months. 
Well, that will change it to 30 years. And let me do this problem here. Now, monthly payments, to calculate monthly payments, this is a PMT function. So I'm going to do FX. I'm going to search for PMT. And so my rate, my rate is going to be 8% divided by 12. The number of periods, I'm going to point to the months. The present value, I'm going to make it negative, whatever that present value is. The future value is going to be a positive 1 million and the payments happen at the end of the period, so I'll make that zero. Now, this answer is going to come out to be negative because we're making a payment of $670. If you want to hide that where it's, you don't have to see the negative, you can put a negative in front of the payment. So negative, negative makes it positive. So here's what this one says. It says, look, if you want a million dollars, you have zero investment, you can earn 8% annual return um, in 360 months in 30 years you need to set aside six hundred and seventy dollars and ninety eight cents now what if you start with a little bit of money what if you start with twenty thousand well and you still want to do it for 30 years then you only have to set aside five hundred and twenty four dollars so both of these are examples of time value of money or financial functions in excel the first one we calculated we calculated the number of months, so that's NPER. The second one, we calculated the payments, which is PMT. Both of these are examples of time value of money or the financial functions in Excel. If you want more information about calculating time value of money using Excel, check out the links below in the description. Hey, thanks for watching.